Welcome to Octopus Blues playthrough of Mother 3 Part 11. Where we last left off, we had just been introduced to Facade, the evil monkey owner, and Salsa, the world's saddest monkey, who also has the most adorable name you possibly can for monkey. Especially a dancing monkey. I don't know why Salsa is just perfect. If you if you're a monkey that just needs to dance, Salsa should be your name. Oh yeah, that's right. Facade had just snuck out. Don't forget to use the bathroom before hitting the hay. Oh, be sure to brush your teeth, too. What great advice. The bathroom part, seriously. If you've never gone to the bathroom before you go to sleep, you're just making a mistake. You arrived at Olse Castle? Good. Wait until dawn, then storm the place. Everything's progressing smoothly here. What? You saw someone else hanging around the castle? That's it. No, <laughs> that's it? You only saw him? I thought he was pissed. Then leave him be. He's probably just some villager who got drunk and got himself lost. He walks with a limp? I think I might have seen him myself. He's got brown hair, a gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, and looks kind of like a bum. Yeah, don't worry about him. Poor Duster. Yeah, okay, I'll leave it in your hands. Stay alert! <sighs> I'm not gasping because he stole the money. I'm gasping because I never noticed that Facade has a mole on his face. Well, that just... Why'd you shock me? Oh, he has two moles on his face. Did you think... Oh, no, he's just gonna, sh like, shock me like crazy? You could run away from me? That's why I'm running towards you, man. You're such a stupid monkey! Oh, poor Salsa. Don't make me say it anymore. Go back to the room and sleep. Don't bother me anymore. What's with that look? Laugh! What happens if I do the I'm gonna backflip? Oh! Right in your face! Who told you to do a backflip? No. Oh. But you know, if you're going the wrong way, I'm sure there have been some more intelligent ways you could have done that. Like trying to disguise yourself or trying to walk around without making a sound. Well, I guess monkeys just aren't intelligent enough for things like that. <laughs> oh, was I supposed to be trying to escape? I thought you could shock me everywhere I, everywhere I went. Huh. <laughs> I like how all this music reminds me of like, the old pipe organs that people had in Dancing Monkeys. Does that... that still goes on, right? Somewhere, in some countries, I would love to, to see a YouTube video. Unless it's really sad like this. This is that's the kind of impression I'm getting that it's just a horrific, saddening profession. The organ grinder. Oh, I had dreams of me. How long am I going to sleep, you stupid monkey? Listen. Just keep doing your tricks all happy-like. Prance around all nice and funny to help charm the villagers. Do a good job and I'll set you free. I'll even take you back to that girly monkey. Ooh, that girly monkey. But if you bore the audience, you'll get an extra heaping of punishment. Got that? Have you eaten? No. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, I'm a monkey! That one's locked. Hi there. I didn't read what they said because none of them said anything important. Ha ha ha. Just daily life in the village. It was fuel and lighter. Come, gather around! Come one, come all! Fair denizens of Tazmili! Congratulations are in order for the hard work you put in every single day. Oh, backflip. Oh, he shocks me in front of everybody? I thought people would be like, oh, You can't do that, it's a monkey. I've come here today to give you all the wonderful news. About happiness! Yeah, I was trying to sabotage this guy's little performance. Blue skies, white clouds, bountiful crops, stout livestock, happy families and kind-hearted neighbors. This village is filled with so many wondrous things. 
but still there's something missing, a tiny speck of uncertainty that steals into each bright day. Man, Salsa's getting down right now. Is this really how things should be? Shouldn't we be living much more comfortable, enjoyable lives? America! It's only natural to harbor a few such suspicions. Odd animals that have never been seen before now lurk in our forest, and giant balloon-like objects soar our skies. What's going on? What's happening to the world we live in? And that's not all. Not by a long shot. The word on the wind says that in, e in the very near future, lightning powerful enough to burn down forests and woods will rain down upon us almost daily. What? I've spoken to the word on the wind, and he did not say that. Oh, you laughed at that, didn't you? You thought to yourself, get real, something of that would never happen. But I truly believe this will soon be a reality. And in times like this, isn't it human nature to want to be happy? To live with a smile on your face? But I have good news for you. Today is your lucky day. Because I can do backflips. Yeah. You can obtain happiness very easily. Just look here. Even my cute, adorable salsa is dancing so happily. The reason for this, you see, is that this monkey has gotten a head start on obtaining happiness. And people are just not interested in this. How exactly did little Salsa here manage to find happiness? He wants to be happy. Sorry, I was drinking some coffee. Yep, we got a few takers. Okay, little Salsa, go ask nice people who want happiness for their names. Please keep your hands raised, folks. I'm Abby. I respect my husband, Abbott. There's nothing bad about having too much happiness, is there? I'm Isaac. I just want to say that it really is that easy to be happy. My name is Abbott. I've been an avid collector of things ever since I was a boy. It's hard to explain, but just collecting stuff. Someone makes me happy. Plus, I like to see what happiness looks like, too. Happiness leaves when wanted. That's... okay. <laughs> I'm Biff. I'm not really sure what this is about, but if I can get something out of it, I'll give it a shot. Biff, your name used to be a punch sound effect in old Batman cartoons. I don't need happiness. It's standing right next to me. Oh, his girl. Happiness, huh? I'll admit, I'm a little curious. Oh. How am I supposed to take their names? I'm a monkey. I can't talk to you. Everyone, if it's just one more of us can achieve happiness, all will be right in the world. And if you decide that you do want happiness after all, feel free to let me know anytime. Well, that's all for today's show. May happiness come to this village. Backflip in! Take care! Laughing! Now then, come along, little salsa, let's return to the Yado Inn. Oh, the sad music. Yeah, it's me. What is it? Did you find it? What? There are other people inside the castle? Why can't you just kick them out? What? You can't because they're too tough! Alright. I'll be right over once I'm through here. Until then, make sure you find it. Oh, uh, Wario's about to go... Thwomp some people. Alright, monkey, listen up. The happy boxes are hidden in the cemetery. Go deliver them to everyone whose names you took earlier. Abbot, Abby, Biff, Isaac, those four people. Where do they live? How should I know? Go find them yourself. And when you're finished delivering them, don't even think about trying to run away. You'll come straight back to this room. If you can't do it in under 23 minutes or so, your punishment will be even more severe. You'll be much more than charred if that happens. If you try to run from me or disobey me, I'll make sure to punish that girly monkey too. Got it? Yeah. Whoa, you shocked me. I said I got it, man. Not cool. Then get it to it already. If you can finish delivering them in under 22 minutes, I'll give you a banana or something. I'm making this offer from the kindness of my heart because I feel just terrible that you're not allowed to eat or drink anything. To be grateful! Yeah, I would have eaten that luxury banana if he hadn't eaten it. Run, monkey! You only have 22 minutes before he kills you. I, I like how this chapter took place, um... Before you need something from the map loving map owning maps and it must be a map, yes? Oh, you're a monkey, but I have a map. For some reason I'm just itching to mark it. Let's me see that for a second. Thank you. But uh I, I like that chapter three has started chronologically, I guess, at the same time. Or a little earlier than chapter um chapter 
to, because you run this duster before you get to the castle. So that's very cool. Very cool way for to tell a story. Because a lot of RPGs don't ever skip around time. Especially not as another character to a previous part. Which I think is super cool. These boxes are big. Don't worry, little monkey. One day you'll be re reunited with your girlfriend, whose name I don't know. I'm hoping it's something that has to do with salsa, so they can be an adorable couple. Like, um, chips? Salsa and chips? Chips? I feel like chips should be the guy's monkey's name, and salsa should be the girl monkey's name. Just saying. We're speaking about uh, adorability here. Which is a stat in this game of durability. I'll take one. Oh, is this it? What is it? Will this thing really bring me happiness? You gave the happy box to Isaac. Only three more to go. Oh, it's a TV. <laughs> so far, this game has taken like a heavy stance against like modern society. It's like money is evil. TVs are evil. I mean, I'm not saying I disagree. I think most people say, you know, money's the root of all of all evil, or greed's the root of all evil. And money's just like the physical manifestation of greed. But, uh... So it's interesting that the evil happy boxes are literally TVs. You know, apparently I'm not allowed to eat or uh, drink, but I look like a chubby little monkey. My cheeks are all ch chubbified. Oh yeah. I love it in games where you can time out perfectly, where um, you're not actually like your walking animation's not going, so you're just sliding. It's always fun to do. Guys, order a TV. Oh, a cute little monkey. Keep up the good work. Nope, no TV for this house. I have a special scary story. Want to hear it? Yes. The truth is, for a long time, I've been thinking, I've been taking nuts I find in the forest and then hiding them in this house. But I went to check on them the other day. They had all been made into bread. Huh? You don't seem very scared. Can I ca talk to other animals? Oh, how about say, can I talk to other animals because I'm an animal? But then I remember that everyone can talk to animals. I really enjoyed that dance of yours earlier, but that man's speech was kind of creepy. Is this Biff? You're not Biff. I don't need happiness. It's already right by my side. Get it. You're in love. In love. Then you guys need a TV. Like the one rich people. Um, this place is circle, right? Yeah. Someone, when have you guys ordered a TV? This monkey delivery man service. Ah, uh, it's not probably not in there. Probably in this house right here. Who are you, Bronson? Hold on there, little monkey. There are dangerous tools everywhere. You won't get hurt now, do you? What if I said yes? Um, alright, I'm just gonna go to the other place, because I don't know where these people are. Was one of you ladies? Maybe the monkey that's famous for being happy. Maybe I should have ordered a happy box, too. You stink like a monkey. Well, that's not very nice. Maybe she stinks like a human. Hurry, monkey, you have to do another 22 minutes, or you're getting charred up. Keep up the good work, Mr. Monkey. That house looks crazy. <laughs> An old man laying dead in a bed with a parrot over him. So... Oh, thanks a bunch. Now I can be happy, too. For some reason, I actually do feel happy. Gave a heavy box to Biff. Only two more to go. Run, monkey. You gotta get that banana. I 
really hope Salsa does become part of the main party, because he's awesome. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever played as a monkey before in any video game. Uh, yeah, yeah, in any video game ever. For a second, I'll say, but what about uh, Ape Escape? And I was like, wait, you don't play as the monkeys in Ape Escape? <laughs> what am I saying? You catch them in a net. I need to get this guy to just beat up facade, he's huge. You know, it's like some tracks in this sound in this game sound like they could be straight from Earthbound. But a lot of the music in this game does not sound very earthboundy to me. Like there's like a little little twinge over there, I guess. Was there someone in here that wanted one? Who wanted Alright, Isaac. He's uh, I've given one to Isaac, I've given one to Biff. So I need Abbott and Ally. Or Abbott and What are their names? Oh, I know, Kangaroo. Wait, that's not it. What is this animal called again? You look so sad. I'm a sad little monkey. Only the children can realize that. I thought I've... Alright, let me check the map. Yeah, okay. Well, why does he live all the way up there by himself? A grandfather? <laughs> does he hate society? I'm gonna talk to those people. I don't remember their names. I don't, they don't look like the people I'm supposed to be talking to. Oh wow, I'm wrong. Thanks, monkey. Good thing I talked to him. Oh, you ordered one too, Abbott? I guess we don't need two, do we? I'll cancel my order then. Sorry to bother you. You finished delivering happy boxes to everyone who wanted one. Yay! Twenty-five minutes. Nope, too bad. I was planning to give you a special banana if you delivered them all in under three minutes. What? I didn't take twenty-five minutes. But I guess you don't really want one, you insolent little monkey. <laughs> hey you! How long are you gonna stay unconscious, stupid monkey? Alright, let's hurry to Os Osahe Kasul. Hopefully, Salsa and Duster end up teaming up because uh, they're both like the saddest people ever. So maybe together they'll be the happiest duo to ever ha happen. To know who you are, but you best be careful if you're going inside the castle. Some guys dressed like pigs when are up to no good. I guess those guys are kind of on my team. What's going on? Did you find it? What? You still haven't found it? Just who are these other intruders? An old man and a guy with a gloomy feel about him? Wait, you mean him? They got their brown hair, gloomy feel, slight bad breath, and looks kinda like a bum? So, where are they now? What? They're headed to the top floor. Ooh. You fools! Whatever you do, do not let them get there first. <laughs> that guy was super terrified. This castle used to be filled with ghosts, but we kicked them all out using the power of science. Aw, yeah! Other groups are presently in pursuit of the bum-looking guy and his cohorts. We will continue our search for the item here. This just seems kind of like a bad idea. This is just a little room. Can I talk to these guys now? Oh, these make cool noises? I want one. Three suits of armor suddenly attack me out of nowhere. 
Even though I'm super skilled, they clearly had the upper hand, but I managed to destroy them when I unleashed my special spicy knuckle attack. That bum looking guy and his coward beat me senseless, though. Oh, there's a bunch of guys in here now. We're currently using every resource available to us to locate it, but it still hasn't turned up. Hold on, Pipsqueak Monkey, I'm not talking to you. There were some sassy ghosts here earlier holding a lively party. We used power science to stick them on the back room for now. That bum looking guy in his cohort headed upstairs after they beat the snot out of us. Only now do I realize that these are truly a force we reckoned with. Another ghost in here? Aw oh, yeah! <laughs> I found a new interest in the power of science. Never mind that I'm a ghost. First a bum looking man and now a monkey? First a bum looking man and now a monkey? Why do you say that twice? <laughs> Even if it's to a monkey, I'll say it anyway. Here's my secret hint. Alright, I know that. <laughs> oh, me so thirsty. Very thirsty indeed. Oh, can I get across this with like monkey flips? Bah, a dead end. Alright, monkey, let's look elsewhere. I can't. I'm off a rope snake. A ghost barked on me just now. For some reason, it smelled like rotten babies. I don't care about finding this stupid item anymore. And yeah, for anyone who's his first part is watching, it smelled like rotten babies because for the food I chose as my favorite food, I put in babies. He didn't just randomly say that. <laughs> the burp smells like like rotting babies. That's a little. That's a little dark. Even for this game. Yeah. What? They fled into the basement. They've got it with them. All right, got it. Hey, monkey, we're heading to the into the basement now. There should be an entrance to the basement somewhere inside this castle. Find it. Um, you find it. Why does he put so much faith in this monkey? Deliver the boxes, monkey. Find the hidden passage, monkey. Come on. I'm just a monkey. You expect too much out of me. Thought maybe. Oh, I know where to go. Can I get in there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like how the music changes and everything. I remember I went there before, and I... No, going that way. No! That spot where I had to dance at, but I couldn't dance, because um, I didn't know how to dance. I don't remember how to get there, though. Oh, here you go. I'll talk to this little pig guy. Sir, Mr. Facade, sir! The ember's not appearing to be in this room. Sir! Sir, 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 sir. Oh, yeah, dodging all these guys. I hope it plays the music that I played when Wes was dancing. The music was awesome. Alright, we go through here. Hey, stupid monkey. Do something to open it. Oh, it's kind of like it. Except... Don't be an eyesore! You have to, like, read this first. And all dances depicted here. Learn the Ose Dance Part C. Oh. Learn the Dance Part B. This is a long dance. Yeah, you! Now let's do it. Oh yeah, I'm getting down. Hmm. Yeah. I, I feel like the, I guess this is the monkey version of the song. <laughs> I the little hand on the hip, one hand in the eye, uh, sky, turn around. Very classy monkey. Well, well done. All right, here's your reward. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I feel like Wiki is even pretty close to how Wario laughs. Come on! Let's get going! I hate you, Facade. I hate you. This doesn't seem very comforting. I got a bracelet! Yay! Oh my god! I thought it was just gonna be like something I could investigate. A cheery skeleton. Wow, I do two damage. Kill it, facade, while I dance. 
Yeah, I did a tiny little dance. Hey, your defense decreased. Oh, he's tickling me! <laughs> I imagine that that was the world's cutest fight. I danced, and he started tickling me. And then Facade killed him. That guy's big. Oh, well, there's a present over there. Oh, I can't carry any more stuff. But I have a nut I can eat. Oh, uh, shoot you, son! It appears to be locked from the other side. More beef jerky. Am I about to fight a boss? My inventory is full, so I have to fight you. To fight you, I'm going to monkey mimic. You threw a bone? I threw a bone. Yeah, where'd I get that bone from, huh? No one even knows. Chew, he's got to me, game tame. I am smarter now. Ancient banana. Interesting. Causing enemy to slip and fall, inflicting damage. Oh. Just barely got around that guy. Oh, so that's why they get sucked out randomly. I thought it was just one of those, like, Duster and company killed the boss, so they're free now. But actually, the monkey sets them free. That is awesome. That is really cool. You know, but my sus my uh, suspension of disbelief was pretty high in you know, RPG. It was whatever monster dies, you're set free. I'm so glad they actually explained that, though. That's pretty sweet. They flit into the waterway. I didn't see Duster, though. What? They escape with the item? After them, after them, after them, after them! GO AFTER THEM! No, wait, they're inside. Go to them. That's, that's what I said. Contact me the instant you find them. Bah! There's not a single useful person here. Let's return to the Yaddo Inn for now. Man, facade, it's just... Is this door unlocked now? I thought maybe for some... some weird reason. See, they can even they can even explain all the guys being gone now as oh my god, ghost frog. I'm not a ghost. I'm a frog. Save your game. Well, ghost frog, I think you had some pretty good timing. Cause I this is where I'm going to conclude part 11 of my let's play. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.